Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are joining me for the first time, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Um, I'm Jill the Chatty Cruiser and today I just wanted to do a really short video about the hotel I chose to stay in and what I thought of it leaving out of Los Angeles at San Pedro. So I've had a lot of people ask me where to stay, where not to stay. So I will let you know where I stayed and if I would stay there again. So stick around. Hey everybody, it is finally the day I've been waiting for, embarkation day, embarkment day, get on the ship and get out of town day. So I am still in my hotel here waiting on my ride, but I figured I would do a little bit of information that I found out about hotel stays here in San Pedro, which is the port in Los Angeles. Um, first off, I am staying at the beautiful, not really, Best Western World Port. So of course I like a good deal. So I booked this. I was like, oh, Best Westerns are fine, whatever. It's okay, but there's nothing here. You have to take a Lyft or an Uber if you don't have your own car to go do anything except go next door to Denny's. So I would not recommend this. I actually took a lift last night all the way down to where the port is. Um, there are some restaurants and shops. It's a really cute, like kind of a little um, artsy area that was old and now it's being revamped. It was pretty cool. I went to an Irish pub, delicious food. Um, and then I had to take a lift back to my hotel. So I'm spending a lot of money in Lyft. I could have and should have just booked a hotel down there. They have the Crown Plaza and I believe there's a Holiday Inn and they're right on the port. So no Lyfts and Ubers needed to eat or to get to the ship in the morning. So um, that's my one regret. Also, um, Best Western, it is, it's okay. Bed was comfortable. I slept pretty well, but the TV, changes channels like every 20 minutes it goes to like a blank channel and then you have to try to find the channel you were on again so um, would not recommend um, I would just say throw the extra money at it as long as you're taking a good vacation anyway go ahead and get a hotel near the port I have another cruise in November out of this same port and I will be taking my own advice so anyway um, I am in the early boarding which is group A at 11 so um, a friend of mine that I actually met on Facebook through our group for this particular sailing is coming to pick me up with his dad and we will go down there together and we are trying to get there early because we are both dead set on trying to get chef's table uh, reservations which they only let 12 people per night um, go to the chef's table and it's an additional cost but it's like all of these really cool um, I don't even know how many courses it is but with wine and pairings and all of that so super classy um, if I get a chef's table invitation, I will definitely have to do a video on that. But for now, I am off to see how this embarkation day and how the process goes for the Princess Discovery. I will see y'all soon. 